Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we have my review for the movie Dead Silence which was somehow directed by James Wan and written by Lee Winnell I believe um, but first of all I apologise if I see can't, can't even speak I apologise if I seem really tired in this video school has me so exhausted and just loads of other things uh, I want to upload I enjoy talking about movies I enjoy making movies uh, which hopefully I can get some done soon uh, probably, I mean, I'll definitely have some out next year, or I mean, I imagine, but yeah, um, just wanted to apologise in case it comes across that way, I don't want it to seem like I'm tired of doing videos, but um, yeah, but there will be spoilers in this video if you haven't seen it already, which if you haven't, good for you, because I don't know what happened with this movie. Who's the dummy? This is genuinely one of the worst horrors I've ever seen in my entire life. And maybe that's an unpopular opinion, I actually have no idea, I haven't seen anyone else's reviews on this. Maybe people love it, I don't know, and I don't care, I hated this film so much. But I guess I will start off with some of the things that I did like. The effects were good, like the practical effects, like this is one effect that goes throughout the film where the victim's tongues are taken out. Um, like those practical gory effects, they're really good, and other f effects throughout the film, they aren't good, and the film actually does really well with the horror focus scenes where we're, where it's trying to scare us in the scenes in particular, they do well, and also the main doll looks pretty creepy as well, it looks like the one from Goosebumps, but um, it, it's a creepy design, they did a good job with the design, and also the actual silence thing, uh, I mean, while I have issues with it, it's it's used to some cool effect. But um, that's that's basically it. Uh, I really didn't enjoy this film at all. Uh, there was not much uh, that I enjoyed at all, and it's it's just I don't know how James Wan has made The Conjuring One and Two, which are two of my favorite horror films of all time, and Lee Winnell made The Invisible Man, which I absolutely love. It's been my favorite film this year because it's like the only film I've seen this year. But no, it's just. I don't get it. I don't get it. What happened? This feels like a pseudo force movie, and I don't know if it was. It very well may have just been an off period for James Wan and Lee now, and they just made a bad movie. That happens to every filmmaker, I feel, but yeah, it's just not good for me. First of all, I, I, I hate saying this. Anyone who's been on the channel before knows that I hate saying stuff about actors because I think they're extremely talented to, to get in the position. They're much more talented than me. I can never act in any way, shape, or form. Um, but just, I'm talking about their performance, in my opinion of it, and nothing against them as people, but in this film, pretty much no one's performance captivated me. I didn't like any of the performances, I didn't buy them at all, it took me out of every scene. I mean, there are a couple of good actors in one or two scenes, but th th those are very short-lived, like, the main, the main actor is he's not good in this film for me i don't know his name and i apologize and I, like i say i'm sure it's a really nice guy but his performance in this film just doesn't work for me the same as with most people's the characters themselves really don't have anything to them as well i mean the main character jamie his wife dies at the beginning which has potential but then i don't care because we don't see them as a couple really we get like 30 seconds maybe and then she dies um i don't i don't care and the problem is that's a driving point for Jamie throughout the rest of the movie and it doesn't work because I don't care I mean if you do that's great if you enjoy this film as I say that's okay to enjoy it um, and please don't hurt me for hating it um, but people are allowed to have different opinions but no it's just I didn't care about it like look at me wrong the scene where she died was well executed and quite scary but yeah and also, James is a bit of an idiot. There is no reason for him to actually believe that it was the doll. Like, yes, maybe to start with when he walks in there and he sees the doll on the floor and his wife dead, it's like maybe just through grief and shock, like maybe you think that. But any person with normal sense would just presume that someone broke in and killed her. Not that it was the doll. He has no real reason to believe that it was the doll. Like, I don't know, it just seems so forced. And Jamie's also a bit of an idiot. He does multiple things that I'm not going to talk about because in truth I just can't be bothered. Um, but he does multiple things that is just stupid and that you what you wouldn't do in the film. To me, I think this film thinks it's great. Uh, it feels like it thinks it's the next big horror. It feels like it believes, truly believes, that it is a child's play. But it's not. Everything goes silent, which I presume is 
the foundation of the name. Um, but it's like, there are no, there's no reason for that at all. Like, why does everyone's surroundings get really silent? Like, yes, as I said earlier, it's used to great effect, but there's no reason for it to actually happen. Um, at least in my opinion. But it's just, it's not explained, and if it is, it's not explained well enough for me. And it just, it, I don't get it. I don't get it. This movie is over-edited as all hell, which I also wanted to put in, like, this film feels like it's trying to be really stylish as well. It just comes off cheap and, yeah. But this film is over-edited cheap and feels very Studio 4, so I don't know if it was. I don't know what happened. I don't know anything about the behind the scenes, really. But, I don't know. For me, unfortunately, Dead Silence is a VHS movie. Thank you guys so much for watching. As you can tell, I did not enjoy this film and I do not recommend it. But obviously, go and watch it if you want. Um, I'm never going to stop you. Um, everyone has different opinions. Like I say, I don't know uh, what everyone else's opinions on this film are. Uh, I only have my review and that's it. Um, but everyone has different opinions on everything and that's a scary thing about the internet, honestly. Uh, I get quite scared putting my opinions out there. When I made the Timeless Child video, that was that was quite terrifying. But no. Uh, I hope you did enjoy this film because uh, I'd rather enjoy a film than hate it. But yeah. Uh, but I also hope you enjoyed this review and make sure to comment what you thought of Dead Silence in the comment section. And make sure to subscribe for more as there will be more very soon. Check out my links in the description to my Twitch and the podcast I'm on. And thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.